For this project, let's see how fast we can build a website from scratch. My goal? Start to finish in six minutes flat. This video was kindly sponsored by Squarespace.com. Some of you might remember a few months ago that YouTube accidentally deleted my entire channel and terminated my account. Thankfully it's back online now, but obviously we need a backup plan for you King of Random fans in case of another emergency. With or without YouTube, I'll keep making videos, but how are you going to know when and where I post them? I've formed an inner circle and you can become part of it by clicking here. Now to set up a 6 minute website, let's start by going to squarespace.com and clicking on the button that says get started. You can see the first thing that pops up is a number of templates that we could use to design our web page, and I'm going to keep it simple by going with a template called Beatrice. Here are some examples of what other people have done with the layout, but let's just go ahead and click start with this design. If we enter a name, email, and password, that's really about all we need to get this started. Now this next part should go fairly fast, so don't try to keep up on details, just sit back and enjoy. With the timer started, we can skip the intro video by hitting escape, then go to the main navigation bar on the left, click the gear icon, and click to make a page like this. This is going to be our home page, so let's change the name and the URL to match, then click save. Now all you'd really have to do is swap out your text and pictures with what's already here, but in this case I'd prefer to start with a blank page, so let's just delete the items one by one until everything's gone. Now that our page is blank, why don't we make another one by clicking Add Page, selecting a blank page, and let's call this one Videos. While we're here, let's add one more page and call it Contact. Okay, with that saved, let's go back to our home page and click on the plus sign at the top. This opens a bunch of item options and the first thing we need is a newsletter block. This will create our mailing list for our inner circle. Let's change the name, then click the Storage tab so we can connect it to a databasing service like MailChimp or Google Docs. I chose to use Google Docs, and as you can see, it's as easy as creating a name for the database and clicking Save. Now if we go to the top and click View Page, it'll ask us to save our work, and here's what the web page looks like so far. Now check this out. If we click the pencil at the bottom, we can highlight the footer text and paste in some custom information in its place. Now if we save that, click the X, and now click on the paintbrush icon, we can access the style mode. This means we can edit the banner image, delete it, and upload one of our own. There we go, much better already. But I'm not a very big fan of this site title covering the bottom of the banner. Unfortunately we can't delete it, but if we click the site title properties, we can adjust the line height down to one pixel, and that pretty much gets rid of it. Now it's hard to tell, but there's a yellowish background image as well. And if we delete that, then click on Site Background, we can adjust it to a custom background color, and I'm going with black. The only problem with that is that the words are harder to read. To fix that, let's adjust the text colors for the Navigation Active Text, the Navigation Hover Text, the Standard Navigation Font, the Main Body Font, and the text color for the footer. I'm basically just changing the colors of all the different words, and I'm sure you get the idea. Now you can see the mailing list area is still pretty dark, so let's fix that by scrolling to the bottom left and changing the newsletter style from dark to light. That's better already, but we can also change the newsletter background to a custom color of our choice. And while we're at it, change the button color so it's a little more prominent as well. Now to tighten everything up, let's go to the page padding scroll bar and adjust the padding level down to around 25 pixels so it pulls everything together. Now let's X out of the style mode and see how it looks. Okay, cool. Now let's escape back to the edit menu, click the left side gear icon, select basic information and give our website a name. Of course this one is for the king of random and we can customize it further by scrolling down and uploading a logo into the browser icon section. Next let's click the index for domains and you can see this will give us the option to customize our URL. In this case I'm just going to call it TKOR but that can be changed anytime you want. Now if you look at the URL at the top, you should see your icon as well as your custom Squarespace URL. Okay cool, let's keep going. Let's try adding a page in the Not Linked section and choose the Gallery Page option. I'm going to name this one Video Gallery, and although this page will be invisible to our visitors, it's still very valuable to our page, let me show you why. When I click Add Images or Video, select Video, then paste the URL for one of my YouTube uploads, you can see it automatically populates the video title, thumbnail, and sets the image overlay. Now when we save it, a little video thumbnail pops up on the unlinked page. 
I'm gonna add seven more videos just like this, and I'll speed the process just for convenience because I'm sure you already get it. At this point, let's head back to the home page, click the plus sign under the mailing list, and select to add a line. This is mainly just for looks. Now let's click the plus sign again, and this time choose gallery, use existing gallery, and select the video gallery we just created. Now if we go to design and click gallery design, there's an option for a customizable grid layout. That looks pretty awesome, but watch this. If we add another gallery the exact same way, but this time keep the slideshow option and click the autoplay feature, watch what happens. We can drag and drop the slideshow gallery down beside the thumbnail grid gallery and it automatically reformats the layout. Let's save that and view the page now. Here we've got a clean looking sign up page with a video slideshow and video thumbnail set right beside it. Nice. Okay, to finish up the other two pages, let's click the gear icon at the bottom and quickly edit the videos page. This time when we add a new block option, let's scroll down until we find the block for inserting code. All we need to do is delete the code that's already there and paste this free embed code I got from tint.com. You can see that if we view the page now, all of my recent YouTube videos are automatically populated into a grid, but they are a little off center. Let's fix that in the style mode by grabbing onto the side of the page and setting the page width to 1100 pixels. Now you can see the video list is adjusted so it's perfectly centered, and this page is done. Lastly, let's hit escape and click to edit our contact page. This is gonna be as simple as scrolling down and finding the option for creating a form. I'm gonna call this one contact, then deselect it from sending emails and instead sync it up with my Google Docs. Now let's see what this is gonna look like. Click view page, save, and there's our contact form. So there you have it. In under six minutes, we have a website with a built-in registration for my private mailing list. Not to mention a few of my favorite projects, all my newest posts, and a contact page. Everything else from here on in is just supplemental, and you can see how easy it would be to add a page for blogs, photo galleries, or even making an online store. By the way, if you haven't joined my mailing list yet, now is the time to do it. I've got a lot of prizes I'm gonna start randomly giving away, and of course it doesn't cost you anything to be a part of it. Well, that's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Before you go, if you're thinking about using Squarespace to build a website of your own, you can get a free trial by heading over to squarespace.com random, or use the promo code random to get 10% off your purchase. Please make sure to double check the link in the description because they'll track it back to me and it really helps me make more videos. Thanks again and best of luck.